Hello everyone, this is the second video of class 10th history chapter Nationalism in India. Now our next topic is Khilafat and Non-Cooperation. Dear children, let's start with the background of Khilafat issue. By the end of First World War in 1918, there were many countries which defeated Ottoman Empire and one of those countries was Great Britain. Ottoman Empire was also called as Ottoman Turkey or Turkish Empire. The head of the Ottoman Empire was called as Caliph or Khalifa. Muslims all over the world considered Khalifa or Caliph as their religious head. Ottoman Empire once was a huge empire and controlled a large area as can be seen from map 1. Gradually, the empire kept on shrinking and by 1920, it was left with a very small area. Dear children, on 1st November 1922, Ottoman Sultanate got abolished that ended Ottoman Empire and Turkey became a republic on 29th October 1923. Now let's get back to our topic. Muslims all over the world considered Khalifa as the religious head and after the defeat of the Ottoman Empire, there were rumors that the countries which defeated Ottoman Empire are going to abolish the position of Khalifa. So to defend the Khalifa's temporary powers, a Khilafat committee was formed in Bombay in March 1919. Muslims in India felt that by pressurizing the British government, they could save the position of Khalifa. There were two Muslim brothers, Muhammad Ali and Shaukat Ali, who raised this Khilafat issue. So they started having discussions with Mahatma Gandhi about the possibility of having a mass movement on this issue. And Gandhiji saw this as an opportunity. He thought it was the right time to bring Muslims under the umbrella of a unified national movement. Muslims or Hindus or Baki Sabi communities ko saath lane ka ek yehi mauka tha Gandhi ji ne socha. So, we can say that Khilafat movement was a pan-Islamic movement launched by Muslims of British India to influence the British government not to abolish the Ottoman Caliphate. So finally, in September 1920, Congress members met at Calcutta where Gandhiji convinced other leaders of the need to start a non-cooperation movement in support of Khilafat as well as for Swaraj. Swaraj means self-rule or Apna Raj. Here is the map showing Calcutta. Now the next topic is why non-cooperation? That means why Gandhiji wanted to launch this movement. In his famous book Hind Swaraj, Mahatma Gandhi wrote that British rule was established in India because Indians were cooperating with the Britishers. He felt that if Indians will stop cooperating, then British rule will collapse. Dear children, non-cooperation means not cooperating with the authority. So how could this non-cooperation become a movement? Gandhiji proposed that the movement will unfold in stages. That means everything will not go all together. Uh, it will start with surrender of titles. Then people will boycott civil services, army, police, courts, elections, schools and foreign goods. And then in case the government could use repression, a full civil disobedience movement will be launched. That means... Uh, then the people will defy the authorities and break the laws. Uh, but there were many uh, leaders within Congress who were thinking that this uh, movement might lead to violence. There were many who were not ready to boycott uh, the elections. So after lots of debates and discussions, finally at the Congress session at Nagpur in December 1920, the non-cooperation program was adopted. That means it was decided how the uh, movement would be launched. Here is the map showing Nagpur. Thank you so much everyone. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel.